After much speculation surrounding the actor's personal life and controversial associations, it's time to take a closer look at the man behind the myth. With a career spanning several decades, the actor has been the subject of many rumors, including a contentious relationship with Scientology, allegations of improper conduct, and questions about his sexuality. These claims have overshadowed his undeniable talent and contributions to the film industry. Despite his personal life, the actor has remained a prominent figure in Hollywood, delivering memorable performances in films such as Saturday Night Fever and Pulp Fiction. His talent and dedication to his craft have earned him numerous accolades, including two Academy Award nominations. In an effort to set the record straight, the actor has spoken out about some of the most intriguing rumors surrounding his life. From his early days as a struggling actor to his rise to fame, we've gathered some of the most fascinating facts about this Hollywood icon. Join us as we delve into the life of this enigmatic and talented individual and give him the honor he deserves. In 1987, the actor first met Kelly Preston on the set of The Experts. At the time, both were involved with other people, but fate had a way of bringing them together again in the future. The two crossed paths years later, and this time, sparks flew. They started dating, and eventually tied the knot in 1991, embarking on a lifelong journey of love. Throughout his life, the actor has been linked to various women, but his connection with Kelly Preston was undeniable. They shared a deep bond and were each other's biggest supporters. Together, they faced the highs and lows of life, always standing by each other's side. Their love story is a testament to the power of second chances and the enduring bond that can form between two people. Despite the ups and downs that come with any relationship, the actor and Kelly Preston remained committed to each other, cherishing the love they had built over the years. In 2020, the world was saddened by the news of Kelly Preston's passing. The actor was devastated by the loss of his partner, but he found solace in the memories they had created together and the love they had shared. Their love story will always be remembered as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the beauty that can be found in a lifelong partnership. In 1991, the actor and his future wife, Kelly Preston, found themselves in Vancouver working on separate projects. It was there that they first met and felt an immediate connection. They decided to give their relationship a chance and soon tied the knot in a romantic ceremony at the Hotel de Crillon in Paris. However, their journey to becoming husband and wife was not without its challenges. Due to legal obstacles, they had to get married twice, but their love for each other ultimately prevailed. Their marriage lasted for nearly three decades until Preston's passing in 2020, and they had three children together. In 1976, the actor found himself working alongside Diana Highland in the film, The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. At the time, the actor was just 22 years old, while Highland was 41. Their age difference didn't stop them from falling in love, and they began a romantic relationship that same year. Unfortunately, their love story was short-lived, in 1977, Highland was diagnosed with breast cancer. Despite her illness, she continued to act and even won an Emmy Award for her role in Eight is Enough. However, her health began to decline rapidly and she passed away later that same year. The actor was devastated by Highland's death. In interviews, he spoke fondly of their time together and credited her with teaching him about acting in life. Although their relationship was brief, it had a profound impact on the actor's life and career. Years later, the actor would meet Kelly Preston, whom he married in 1991. Together, they had three children and remained together until Preston's passing in 2020. But before he found love again with Preston, the actor's first experience with romantic love was with Diana Highland, a woman who left an indelible mark on his heart and career. Contrary to what one might expect, the actor did not have a smooth high school experience. Instead of being a popular jock, he reportedly struggled to fit in with his peers. This period of his life was far from the glitz and glamour that would later define his career. In 2009, the actor and his family suffered a devastating loss when his 16-year-old son, Jet Travolta, passed away. The tragedy deeply affected the entire family, leaving a void that could never be filled. Jet's death was a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment with loved ones. Despite the challenges that he faced, the actor has remained committed to his craft 
and continues to captivate audiences with his powerful performances. His resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to his strength and determination both on and off the screen. The memory of his son remains a driving force behind his dedication to his work, and he continues to honor Jet's legacy through his contributions to the world of film and television. In 2009, the actor's eldest son, Jet, died while on vacation in the Bahamas. The 16-year-old had a seizure, fell, and struck his head on the bathtub, leading to his untimely death. Jet had a history of seizures, which were linked to his autism diagnosis. The tragedy deeply affected the family, and they sought solace in their faith and each other. In 1996, the actor and his wife, Kelly Preston, opened up about their personal lives, including the conception of their eldest son. Preston revealed that she had undergone fertility treatments to conceive Jet, and the couple was overjoyed when they learned they were expecting. They spoke candidly about the challenges of raising a child with special needs, but also expressed their gratitude for the joy Jet brought into their lives. The actor and Preston were known for being private about their personal lives, but they were open about their love for their children and their commitment to each other. The couple met on the set of the film The Experts in 1987, and married in 1991. They had three children together, Jet, Ella, and Benjamin. Despite the tragedy of losing Jet, the actor and Preston continued to work in the film industry and remained devoted to their family. They used their platform to raise awareness about autism and worked to support organizations that provide resources for families affected by the condition. The couple's love and resilience in the face of adversity served as an inspiration to many. In 2010, after the tragic loss of their son Jet in 2009, the actor and his wife Kelly welcomed their third child, Benjamin, into the world. The arrival of Benjamin brought joy to the family during a difficult time. In addition to his role as a father, the actor is also remembered for his iconic performance alongside Olivia Newton-John in the film Grease. The chemistry between the two was so genuine that it sparked rumors of a real-life relationship off-screen. However, both the actor and Newton John have denied these claims and maintained that their relationship was purely professional. The actor's interaction with Newton John in the show was a highlight for many viewers, and their duet of You're the One That I Want remains a classic to this day. The film's success can be attributed in part to the undeniable chemistry between the two leads, which translated seamlessly onto the big screen. Despite the rumors surrounding their relationship, the actor and Newton John have remained good friends over the years, often reuniting in events and reunions related to the film. Their genuine friendship is a testament to their professionalism and respect for one another, both on and off the set. In conclusion, the actor's role in Greece and his personal life, including the birth of his son Benjamin, have contributed to his enduring legacy in the world of film. His chemistry with Olivia Newton-John in the show remains a topic of interest and fascination for fans to this day. The weight of actor Travolta has seen significant fluctuations over the years. In 1998, he gained 30 pounds for his role in the film Primary Colors. This weight gain was a deliberate choice, made to better embody the character he was portraying. In addition to his weight gain for roles, Travolta has also been associated with an unusual accident involving his dogs. In 2009, while at a main airport, his dogs were struck by an airport vehicle in a bizarre turn of events. Fortunately, the dogs survived the accident, but the incident drew attention to the actor's love for his pets. Travolta's ability to gain weight for roles and his experience with an unexpected accident involving his dogs are just two examples of the unexpected challenges that can arise in an actor's career. Despite these challenges, Travolta has continued to work in the film industry, taking on a variety of roles and demonstrating his versatility as an actor. The Church of Scientology counts many celebrities among its members, including Tom Cruise and John Travolta. Despite their shared faith, the two actors are not close friends. This might come as a surprise to some, as both have enjoyed long and successful careers in Hollywood. Travolta, in particular, has had a career that spans over four decades. He first gained fame in the 1970s with his role on the hit TV show Welcome Back, Cotter. This was followed by a string of successful film roles, including Saturday Night Fever in Greece. However, the actor's personal life has been the subject of much speculation over the years. In particular, there have been ongoing rumors about his sexuality. 
Travolta has always maintained that he is heterosexual and has been married to Kelly Preston since 1991. Tragically, Preston passed away in 2020 after a battle with breast cancer. The loss of his wife was no doubt a difficult time for Travolta, but he has also spoken about an even deeper tragedy in his life. In an interview, he revealed that the death of his son Jet in 29 was the lowest point of his life. Jet, who was just 16 years old at the time, died after suffering a seizure while on a family vacation in the Bahamas. Travolta and Preston were devastated by the loss, and the actor has spoken openly about the impact it had on him. The truth is, I didn't know if I was going to make it. Life was no longer interesting to me, so it took a lot to get me better, he said. Despite the challenges he has faced, Travolta has continued to work in the film industry. He has appeared in a number of successful films in recent years, including The Fanatic and Speed Kills. Through it all, Travolta has remained a private individual, preferring to keep his personal life out of the public eye. While rumors about his personal life may continue to swirl, there is no denying his talent and contributions to the world of film. After years of remaining silent, the actor recently addressed ongoing rumors taking to social media to express his gratitude for the support from fans and well-wishers. This decision to speak out reflects the actor's desire to set the record straight and provide clarity, showcasing his resilience and authenticity in the face of media attention. The actor, who has enjoyed a long and successful career in the film and television industry, has often found himself at the center of media scrutiny. However, he has always remained focused on his craft delivering memorable performances in a variety of roles that have endeared him to audiences around the world. From his breakout role in the hit television show Welcome Back Cotter to his iconic performances in films like Saturday Night Fever and Pulp Fiction, the actor has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His talent and dedication have earned him numerous accolades, including two Academy Award nominations and a Golden Globe Award. Despite the challenges he has faced, the actor has always remained true to himself, never letting the opinions of others define him. His decision to speak out about the ongoing rumors is a testament to his strength and authenticity, and a reminder that he remains a beloved and respected figure in the world of entertainment. As he continues to work on new projects and engage with his fans, there is no doubt that the actor will continue to leave his mark on the entertainment industry for years to come. His resilience and authenticity are an inspiration to us all and a reminder of the power of staying true to oneself in the face of adversity. Once upon a time, in the glittering world of Hollywood, a man named John Travolta rose to fame. Born on February 18, 1954, in Inglewood, New Jersey, Travolta's passion for acting began at a young age. Travolta's breakout role came in 1977 when he starred in the hit film Saturday Night Fever, which propelled him to international stardom. His portrayal of Tony Manero, a young man who loves to dance, earned him critical acclaim and cemented his status as a leading man. In 1978, Travolta starred in another successful film, Grease, where he played the role of Danny Zuko, a greaser who falls in love with Sandy, played by Olivia Newton-John. The film became an instant classic and solidified Travolta's place in Hollywood history. Throughout his career, Travolta has received numerous accolades, including two Academy Award nominations for his roles in Saturday Night Fever and Pulp Fiction. He has also won two Golden Globe Awards, one for Get Shorty and another for Pulp Fiction. Travolta's talent extends beyond acting, as he is also an accomplished pilot and has even flown former President Bill Clinton on his private plane. Despite facing personal tragedies, including the loss of his son Jet in 29, Travolta has continued to work in the film industry and inspire audiences with his performances. His contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark, and his legacy will continue to resonate for generations to come. Born in 1954 in Englewood, New Jersey, John Travolta was the youngest of six children. His mother, Helen, was an actress and singer, while his father, Salvatore, worked as a tire salesman. From a young age, Travolta showed an interest in performing, inspired by his mother's love for the arts. Travolta's family moved to New York City when he was a teenager, where he attended Dwight Morrow High School. 
It was there that he discovered his passion for acting and dancing, often participating in school plays and local theater productions. One of Travolta's earliest influences was actor Marlon Brando. He admired Brando's raw and emotional performances and often tried to emulate his style. Another significant influence was actor James Dean, whose rebellious spirit and brooding intensity resonated with Travolta. Travolta's first big break came in 1972 when he was cast in the Broadway production Grease. He played the role of Danny Zuko, which would later become his signature character in the film adaptation. During this time, he also studied acting with renowned coach Herb Rubenstein, who became a mentor to him. In the mid-1970s, Travolta moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in film. He landed several small roles before achieving stardom with the hit TV show Welcome Back, Cotter in 1975. The show's success propelled Travolta to fame, and he quickly became a household name. Throughout his career, Travolta has continued to be influenced by various artists, including singers Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. He has often cited their music and performances as inspirations for his own work. In recent years, Travolta has become a mentor himself, inspiring a new generation of actors. He has worked with several young performers, including his daughter, Ella Blue, who has followed in her father's footsteps. In conclusion, John Travolta's upbringing and early exposure to the arts played a significant role in shaping his career. From his mother's love for performing to his mentors and influences, Travolta's path to stardom was paved with inspiration and guidance. Growing up in Inglewood, New Jersey, John Travolta's passion for acting started at a young age. As a child, he was captivated by the spotlight, often putting on shows for his family and neighbors. His sister, Ellen, was already taking dance lessons, and six-year-old John begged his parents to let him join her. This request marked the beginning of a lifelong love for performance. At the age of 12, Travolta's sister took him to see the Broadway production of Bye Bye Birdie. The experience left a lasting impression on the young boy. He later shared, I saw that the lead character was an actor who danced and sang, and I said, wow, that's what I want to do. Travolta's first big break came when he was just 17. He dropped out of high school and moved to New York City to pursue his dream. After appearing in several small stage productions, he landed the role of Danny Zuko in the hit musical Grease on Broadway. This opportunity catapulted him to fame and solidified his desire to become a successful actor. Later in his career, Travolta's portrayal of Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever brought him international stardom. His electrifying performance on the dance floor and his compelling acting skills showcased his versatility and talent. This iconic role not only cemented his place in Hollywood, but also inspired countless young people to pursue their dreams. In the end, it was a combination of family influence, exposure to professional performances, and natural talent that sparked John Travolta's passion for acting. His enduring career continues to resonate with audiences worldwide, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Born in 1954 to a tire factory owner, John Travolta's early life was filled with financial struggles. The family of six often lived paycheck to paycheck. Despite these hardships, Travolta's passion for acting remained undeterred. At 16, he dropped out of high school to pursue a career in New York's bustling theater scene. Rejections were plenty and industry skepticism ran high. Yet, Travolta persevered, taking on small roles in television shows and commercials. His breakthrough came in 1975 with the TV series Welcome Back, Cotter. However, after its cancellation, Travolta found himself facing renewed skepticism. In 1977, he took on the role of Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever, a film that would become a cultural phenomenon. This role not only solidified his place in Hollywood, but also introduced him to a wider audience. His subsequent role in Greece further cemented his status as a leading man. However, the late 1980s and early 1990s saw a decline in Travolta's career. Instead of succumbing to the pressures of Hollywood, he took control of his career, producing and starring in the critically acclaimed Get Shorty in 1995. This marked a resurgence in his career, leading to roles in successful films like Pulp Fiction and Face Off. John Travolta's journey in Hollywood is a testament to his resilience and creativity. From financial struggles to industry skepticism, he overcame numerous obstacles to become a successful actor. His story serves as an inspiration, reminding us that with determination and hard work, 
we can turn our dreams into reality. In 1977, John Travolta's career reached new heights with his role in Saturday Night Fever, which showcased his dancing skills and dramatic abilities. This groundbreaking performance not only made him a household name, but also solidified his status as a versatile actor. Film critic Paulin Kael praised Travolta's portrayal, stating, He's magical, he's the best dancer I've ever seen in films. This breakthrough role led to Travolta's first Academy Award nomination, demonstrating his undeniable talent and potential. A few years later, Travolta's career experienced another turning point with the release of Grease in 1978. His portrayal of Danny Zuko captured audiences worldwide, making it one of the highest grossing musical films of all time. Co-star Olivia Newton-John shared her experience working with Travolta, saying, John was so charismatic, and he had such a great sense of humor. He just brought so much to the role. In 1994, Travolta's career took an unexpected turn when he starred in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. This role earned him his second Academy Award nomination and introduced him to a new generation of filmgoers. Tarantino, the film's director, spoke highly of Travolta's performance, stating, John just nailed it. He brought so much depth and humanity to the character, and he really made it his own. Moreover, Travolta's work in Get Shorty and Primary Colors further solidified his reputation as a talented and adaptable actor. His ability to take on diverse roles and deliver compelling performances has left an indelible mark on the film industry. In recent years, Travolta's work in Gotti and The Poison Rose has continued to demonstrate his range and commitment to his craft. With each new role, John Travolta continues to captivate audiences and inspire fellow actors, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. John Travolta's artistic vision and process are deeply rooted in his personal experiences and worldview. Growing up in an entertainment-focused family, Travolta was exposed to the arts at a young age, which shaped his passion for acting. Travolta's approach to his work is meticulous and dedicated. He is known for his thorough preparation, often immersing himself in his character's backgrounds and experiences to deliver authentic performances. For instance, his portrayal of Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction required him to perfect a specific walk and drawl, showcasing his commitment to his craft. Moreover, Travolta is not afraid to take on diverse roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. From his breakout role in Saturday Night Fever to his iconic performance in Grease, Travolta has proven his ability to adapt to various genres and character types. Travolta's personal experiences often inform his work. For example, his passion for flying has been woven into his roles in Greece and Pulp Fiction, adding depth and authenticity to his performances. Furthermore, Travolta's worldview is reflected in his work through his exploration of complex themes such as identity, morality, and redemption. His performances often resonate with audiences due to their relatability and emotional depth. In conclusion, John Travolta's artistic vision and process are characterized by his meticulous preparation, versatility, and exploration of personal experiences and complex themes. His unique approach to his work has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, solidifying his status as a beloved and enduring figure in the world of acting. John Travolta's impact and influence on the film industry are significant. With his magnetic screen presence and versatile acting skills, he has left an indelible mark on both film and television. In the late 1970s, Travolta skyrocketed to fame with his iconic portrayal of Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever, a film that not only propelled him to stardom, but also popularized disco music and dance around the world. According to industry expert Peter Travers, Travolta's performance in Saturday Night Fever was a game changer. He brought a raw, sexy energy to the screen that was utterly captivating. Travolta's influence extended beyond just his acting abilities. His dance moves, style, and charisma inspired a generation of young people to embrace the disco lifestyle. The film's soundtrack, featuring songs by the Bee Gees, became one of the best-selling albums of all time. In the 1990s, Travolta's career experienced a resurgence with his role as Vincent Vega in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. The film earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor and cemented his status as a Hollywood icon. Tarantino, in an interview, said, John brought a cool, laid-back charm to the role of Vincent that was essential to the film's success. 
Travolta's influence can also be seen in the way he has paved the way for other actors. As a pioneer of the dance-based film genre, he has inspired numerous films and television shows that feature dance as a central element. His willingness to take on diverse roles and genres has also encouraged other actors to push the boundaries of their craft. Actress and dancer Julian Ho cites Travolta as a significant influence on her career. She says, seeing John Travolta in Saturday Night Fever made me want to become a dancer. His energy, passion, and charisma were infectious, and I strive to bring that same level of intensity to my own performances. In conclusion, John Travolta's impact and influence on the film industry are undeniable. From his iconic performances to his influence on dance and fashion, he has left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. John Travolta is a devoted family man with a wife and three children. He values his privacy and cherishes his time spent with his loved ones. Despite his busy acting career, Travolta always makes time for his family, often taking them on the set of his films. Travolta is also passionate about aviation and holds a pilot's license. He owns several planes and often flies them himself. His love for flying even inspired him to take on the role of a pilot in the film Grease. In addition to his career and family, Travolta is heavily involved in various philanthropic efforts. He is a dedicated supporter of the Jet Travolta Foundation, which he established in honor of his late son. The foundation aims to help children with special needs and life-threatening conditions. Travolta also supports the American Red Cross, the Foundation for African Medicine and Education, and the U.S. Department of Defense. Travolta's personal values and interests have greatly influenced his work as an actor. His love for aviation, for instance, led him to take on roles that allowed him to explore that passion. Meanwhile, his dedication to helping others has inspired him to use his platform for good, raising awareness for various causes and supporting charitable organizations. Travolta's philanthropic efforts extend beyond just financial contributions. He often donates his time and energy to support the causes he cares about, whether it's visiting hospitals or participating in charity events. His dedication to making a positive impact in the world is a testament to his character and values. In conclusion, John Travolta's life outside of his professional sphere is just as fascinating as his career. From his love of aviation to his dedication to helping others, Travolta's personal values and interests have shaped his work and his life in meaningful ways. His philanthropic efforts serve as a reminder of the importance of giving back and making a positive impact in the world. John Travolta's legacy in the acting industry is undeniable. With iconic roles in Saturday Night Fever and Pulp Fiction, he has left an indelible mark on cinema. His charisma and versatility have allowed him to transition between film and stage, earning him numerous accolades. As for the future, Travolta continues to take on challenging roles, showcasing his enduring talent. He also expressed his interest in directing and producing, hoping to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences. For aspiring professionals, Travolta advises never to stop learning and improving one's craft. He emphasizes the importance of staying true to oneself and taking risks, as it is through these experiences that true growth occurs. Travolta also believes in the power of perseverance, encouraging aspiring actors to keep pushing forward, even in the face of rejection. As he puts it, the only time success comes before work is in the dictionary. In short, John Travolta's legacy is a testament to his talent, hard work, and dedication to his craft. His future contributions promise to be just as impactful, inspiring a new generation of actors to pursue their dreams. John Travolta's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to his unwavering passion and innovation. From his humble beginnings in New Jersey to his meteoric rise with Saturday Night Fever and Grease, Travolta has captivated audiences for decades. His career is a tapestry of diverse roles, from dramatic turns in Pulp Fiction and a civil action to comedic performances in Look Who's Talking and Hairspray. Throughout his journey, Travolta has consistently pushed boundaries, reinventing himself and his craft. He's not just an actor, he's a dancer, singer, and producer, leaving his mark on stage, screen, and television. 
His innovative approach to storytelling has resonated with audiences, earning him numerous accolades and a place in the annals of Hollywood history. Despite the ups and downs of his career, Travolta's perseverance has been unyielding. He's faced criticism and setbacks, but has always bounced back, demonstrating the power of creativity and resilience. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that with passion and perseverance, we can all leave our mark on the world. In the end, Travolta's story is one of innovation, passion, and impact. It's a story that reminds us that creativity and perseverance can lead to greatness, and that our journey is never truly over. As we reflect on Travolta's career, we're inspired to pursue our own passions and make our own mark on the world. Let's take a moment to appreciate the work of John Travolta, an actor who has left an undeniable impression on the entertainment industry. From his breakout role in Saturday Night Fever to his memorable performance in Pulp Fiction, Travolta has consistently delivered captivating performances that have resonated with audiences. Throughout his career, Travolta has taken on a variety of roles, showcasing his versatility and range as an actor. Whether he's playing a charming dance instructor, a tough-talking hitman, or a charismatic lawyer, Travolta always brings a unique energy to his characters. But beyond his acting abilities, Travolta has also made an impact behind the scenes. He's a skilled producer and has even tried his hand at directing. Through his work both in front of and behind the camera, Travolta has helped shape the entertainment landscape. As we reflect on Travolta's career, it's clear that his legacy is enduring. His work has transcended generations, inspiring and entertaining audiences for decades. And with his undeniable talent and passion for storytelling, Travolta shows no signs of slowing down. So, let's hear your thoughts on John Travolta's work and legacy. What are some of your favorite roles he's played? How has his career impacted you personally? Share your memories and reflections in the comments below. And if you enjoy this content, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.